turned on everybody's mic but mine. Welcome back to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City, broadcasting to you live from Fattopia Studios. That was Nick Evans Maori off of his album Cat. I happen to love Nick Evans Maori. Cat. I rock the fuck out I of his music. Kept. I don't want to be cat. Eat me. Well, you know what? I want to win Megabucks. I want to be a tin millionaire. Tin millionaire. Because I want to be able to be one of those patrons of the arts who just throws money at some artist that I like. That's okay. What I, do. I just want to have money. I just want to be able to pay my bills. Yeah, me <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you shoot for the stars, at the very least, you'll land on the moon. There's the poetry crash, woman in the middle of the There's ocean. the poetry <laughs> woman again. Crash land into the middle of the Atlantic. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's more like what I'm, I'm thinking. I'm like kind of stranded on a raft in the middle of the ocean right now. Like that's that's my status. <laughs> I'm stranded on a raft and I got to pee. Like right. that's that's not a big deal. Yeah, hike your leg up, hike it right. over the edge. Just pee in the ocean. Like a dog. Well, let's do a little catch up. Well, let's uh because we still okay. we have a little while, but that's we'll, right. Oh, oh yeah, 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 your dating, dating thing. thing. Yes. Yeah. So let's talk about that for a few minutes, and then we we could definitely roll right into catch ups. But um, so did you set up? You set up your full profile, right? I didn't finish setting up like filling in the about me part. But how many messages have you received already? Um, because it doesn't really matter. Guys will message anyone. Yeah, I I have. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> I. Deleted the app like three days later. <laughs> what? You didn't even finish? Yeah, I it sucked so bad that I was like, I want this off my phone. Because All right. This is the kind of stuff I got. Just looking in Vegas, I fucked him. I I did get um. Okay, well let. Okay, hold on. Give me yeah. this. And then I'll I'll tell you something. Which after uh, this. dating site did you girls we went with Mingle too? We went with Mingle too. Never heard that. I've been on it. I and met a couple people. This gentleman I got. This gentleman. This gentleman. <laughs> He's I looking for any the, fat chick on I there. I didn't get the penis one, so we only have three three crossovers. That's not bad. Um, that's not bad at all. I'll, I'll tell you a, a funny story when we're done here. But um, I guess I shouldn't have deleted a whole bunch of them either, huh? Oh man, I totally suck. Not. What are you looking for, Desiree? A good dick. A good dick. Well, no, not other than a good. I'm talking about. In general, are you looking for a relationship? Are you just looking to sport fuck? Are you looking for a sugar daddy? What are you looking for? A uh, sugar daddy wouldn't suck. You know the sugar daddy website, right? Yeah, I tried it a long time ago. I guess I could try it again. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm not completely closed off to anything. I think that anything that you know, the first thing that <laughs> comes up. <laughs> You know, Let me sit in your lap and let's talk about the first thing that pops up. Turns into something more. So be it. I'm not looking for anything rushed, that's for sure. Um, you don't want a three-day divorce quickie? No. I'm good. <laughs> uh, like, you know, and the truth is I'm not over my last relationship yet. So, like, I can't rush into a new relationship when I'm not over my last one. Right. Taxi, do you ever think that you will get married again? Um here's what I'll tell you. The first responses I get if I read their profile and they're like, I'm looking for a wife, someone I could be with forever, I move on. (laughs) Well, because that's where you're at now in your brain. I, in in my mind, um, no, I'm not looking to remarry. Not right now, but... I I don't know if I ever Yeah, you don't know. I I have no idea how I'll feel in, you know, three, four, five, ten years. I have no idea. Right. I know for myself right now, um, if... And one of the questions I've had in going through these, um, like even when I was kind of searching through guys myself and I'm going, I just, I'm not even sure what I'm interested in and I'm not even 100% sure I'm ready. But it's so soon. It is so soon. And um, I mean, I wouldn't mind maybe just going and hanging out with somebody, but like even the thought as I'm going through and I'm like, just the thought of like just kissing someone and uh, I don't know. But I, here's what I do know. The ones, well, except for you, the <laughs> ones who, um, and, and when I'm drunk, I mean, trust me, I'm still a lip locker when I'm drunk. But um, the ones when I go through, like one gentleman was, you know, sent me something. He's like, I, I love 
romantic candlelight dinners and, and I'm all Ern. Yeah, you can't even put yourself it's there. Just, I hear you. I can't even Do you know that I couldn't it. listen to music for a long time after I got music, divorced? Music I will tell you yeah, music. It's hard. Sucks. It's hard I will to tell listen you music to. Sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Because every song yes. is either a breakup song or a love song. It's true. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's so I, fucking I, obnoxious. I, when I got divorced, I don't think I listened to the radio for like four years. I, I listened, listened to, to talk, talk radio. Talk radio, yeah, right, exactly. Right. But I will tell you, so the one gentleman that I have chatted with back and forth, um, he's actually a really nice man. Not somebody, um, you know, I, I continue to chat because I thought he was, you know, interesting and, and we chatted a bit, but not something for me. However, Cali Guy, if you're still listening, he would be perfect for Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> Every single thing he said to me, I'm going my friends into that <laughs> <laughs> but Renaissance she's totally bears? Taking. my friends into that <laughs> do you want a picture of this guy cute. i might actually know this you dude might. that's cute don't don't read his name on here because i did give the the show info just to check it out and i he- know exactly who that motherfucker is <laughs> i personally know that guy he knows me uh, Every, he used to be married to a very good friend of mine. We've done Ren Fair together. He's in a particular group. Yes, yes, that... yes. Every every single thing screamed Sierra. He's a really nice guy. I like him quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. No, I I'm, know I'm him. I'm certain he was a nice guy, but I, all I kept thinking was like, I why can't I set other people up here? Because this guy is perfect. <laughs> or then I also thought because. Um, one of our previous hosts has similar interests. Mm-hmm. And then I thought... No, she knows him, too. Well, see? see? It's a very small, small world, world we operate in. See? My Especially when good. you come to the Ren world. You think the BBW world is incestuous? The Ren world is ridiculously incestuous. Like, if you fucked one person, you fucked three different encampments. I'm just saying. I don't even know what an encampment is. What are you saying, encampments? It's rap like, for me. I'm like, what? <laughs> And I can't, I was, I was still trying to be nice and have a conversation, but I couldn't very well say, like, when I hear this stuff, my brain goes like, wah, 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 wah. Did he mention that he's wheelchair bound? No. Okay, yeah, he is. Oh, okay. He should probably mention that. He should mention that. I think that that should have been either in his profile or something Maybe he mentioned is. early on. Maybe it is, and I didn't notice. I mean, that's not, you know. Heavy set my ass. Is he fuckered fat? He's a big dude. <laughs> Unless he's lost weight recently. He's a big dude. <laughs> but anyway. But he's super so I thought, cool. Yeah. I don't mind big dudes. I, I'm okay. So as I was chatting, guys. like as I was chatting with him, um, just all I kept thinking was, <laughs> this guy'd be great for Sierra. He'd be so good for her. <laughs> uh, I know his wife. I know his ex-wife. I know his son. Yeah, I know quite a That's bit about funny. it. I know it's a really small BBW world. I was, I I've was... slept in a couple of his tents before. Like, it's not like I met a guy on one of the dating sites, and um, I went out with him, and all he did the entire night was talk about um, a female club owner that we all know in town mm-hmm. all night long, and why she dumped him and wouldn't go out with him the whole day. Well, yeah. I decided after this, I'm like, well, this site obviously isn't for me. Like, I'm. You know, if I, if I want to get out there, I have to figure out and find the right site. Oddly enough, my husband told me <laughs> of a really good site that I should check out. BBWdating.com? No. Because everybody's fucked everybody on that website. I believe it was like singleparents.com Single or something parent like that. Yeah. My sister's been on it before. you yeah. got to be careful with that because some single dads are just cruising for a baby mama. They just want a wife. To take care of their kids and take care of the house. And that'd be okay if that's what you're looking for, but they will get angry with you quick if you're not looking to get into a relationship. Oh, yeah. So I tried the BBW Meet, or no, BB Meet. BB People Meet. I've been on there. BB People Meet. And so I just signed up. I didn't get very far. And the reason I didn't get very far is because right when you sign up, it's trying to get a feel for what type of guys you like. So it pulls up the, the first two. And you look at them and you go like, which guy would you prefer? Only one of the guys is my friend's husband. So <laughs> you were like, mm. you know who I met off of BB People Beat was the gentleman. Oh yeah. 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 
that one charges what like 15 a month or something i hadn't gotten to the point of signing up yet oh but okay and and to be fair actually it's my friend's almost ex uh, about to be ex-husband but um That's pretty i was still like mm, not i don't know <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe okay. this isn't the one for me <laughs> Oh, well, at least not. you know they've got men who like your yes, type. Yes, not. Right. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's yeah, that's why I suggested the, the Mingle, too, because um, you'll get a broad spectrum of people on there. Right, yeah, but, but most of the sucks. people from Mingle, too, are not from here. Oh, that's weird. I mean, if I want a long-distance relationship, I'll just hook up with a guy in prison. I mean, no, come no, on. No. I'm just I, kidding. I, I but am I'm going just to saying, be... like, yeah, there's no commitment there. If you're going to hook up with a you dude in prison, to. make it at least a guy who was like a blue collar crime. Like maybe he swindled money out of his boss or something like, he like that. Like stole art. Yeah. yeah. You don't, you don't want to be dating my sister's ex or no. anything like that. I, I, fine. No, Here's the, why I said the it The Ponzi jokingly. scheme guys. That's who you want to date. Right, do. right. The ones who are like, um, um, who's that guy from the movie? The Wolf of Wall Street. Exactly. That's who you want to date. <laughs> like that dude. That's like he's, you know, one of him the is one in prison doing blow somewhere. off a hooker's ass? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> That's a great idea. I've done that. <laughs> Off a hooker's ass? Pretty much. <laughs> Just as long as it ain't too close to the bajay It was a long time ago. That's awesome. <laughs> well, it's kind of. Yeah, there's a billion websites out there. I can tell you that geek to geek is probably not for you. Because, again, all I will hear is... Wah, 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 she wah, wasn't wah, wah, a hired wah, wah. hooker, but she was a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> so, sort of. <laughs> Uh, you try eHarmony on one of their free hookup weekends and see if you meet anybody. eHarmony oh. takes 85 days to fill out. It does. Yeah. Which, if you start now, you'll be done by the time the next free weekend so comes up. So, I <laughs> deleted Mingle, mm -hmm. right, off my phone because it was obnoxious. And I went to, um, Craigslist. <laughs> yeah, I looked there this week, too. And I... Saw an ad and responded to one guy, uh -huh. and we're still talking. And is he cool? Is he looking for? He's cool. The you thing want is, personal is that um, Let's no, you want. I want to find Desiree's. One okay. thing I didn't post an ad. No, oh. well, that's not yeah. fair. I answered an ad. Damn it! The one thing that um. The one thing that I did find fishy <laughs> about that. him is that he has no social media. Hmm. He's kind of a geek. But he can't be a geek and have no social media. That's true. Yeah, he's Good kind of point. He I'm looks saying, very familiar if he to plays, me. If he, if he plays any sort of online game with groups, he has to have some sort of social media. I don't think he's that kind of geek. I'm talking like... He looks familiar. Yeah, he does to me too. Nerdy geek. I don't know why. So, but he doesn't want to meet right away. That's what I thought was. Look, this dude in Henderson just wants you to come swimming in. That his looks pool. like your oh, fucking I pool. I've seen that one too. That looks like that your pool. It does look like uh, your pool. I know. I see that ad oh, too. No, my pool doesn't have stairs. It does on one side. No. Well, oh. not into the pool, Plus but off CBBW, on the other side. All right, pass yeah, that one by. He looks familiar. Let's see. Just type into the, the thing at the top, BBW. That's what okay. I put in. Okay. The, this one's titled Curvy BBW, this Pear right Shape up BBW, your SS BBW. It's right up your alley. You That's what you want. Thick in all the right places. Bottom heavy, big booty BBW women. That's what I'm looking for, ladies. Please be discreet, must, a.k.a. I am married. Must have some curves in some kind of shape. Looking to text, then from there meet. Aw, you spelled the wrong there. Next. Yeah. See that you gotta have the right grammar for me to even <sighs> respond. If you throw me like some yo, what's up? And it's all W Y O W A Z. Oh, I hate that shit. Fuck you. I hate that Fuck I get that code out. Attractive He's not even SPM. all that attractive. Seeking F friends with benefits. Yeah, no. I no. Hate, I hate the whole That body looks familiar thing. too. I hate the whole dating thing. It's just such a pain in the ass. I really hate it. So I have a... Whoa, that's a girl. I have some naked pictures. 
BBW in search of I personal have a question. trainer and lover. Okay. And I think it makes me a shallow person okay. or a hateful person, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> so that was a big old penis. Um, that's nice. Right, do you want to see it? Hold on, let me come yeah, back. Bam! Yeah, see penis. That's too big for me. <laughs> So I don't even. What makes you right. a shallow person? Okay. Death. So somebody in our vagina. industry uh, is in the hospital fighting for their life, and there's a a GoFundMe um, that has been up for a couple days and has no funds. Like my titties. Oh, so nobody has funded. Okay. Nobody has funded it. Has it been advertised? Yes. Okay. I mean, her fupa ain't big enough to be on Because I it. saw it. If I saw it, focus. Sorry. Focus. She's telling a story. I'm telling a story. <laughs> so, You're listening. Don't so, worry. Yeah, um, but I think that based on this person and his, his previous uh, disposition or his previous acts and how, and he's, treated how he's treated people is going to come back to haunt him. Does that make me a bad person? No, that, it just like, makes I'm like, you a follower of karma. I'm like, oh, yeah, that, no. You know what? I think that you have to look at those mm. things like when people post those, um, you know, fund me things because I've had friends that, you know, and then, you know, I mean, I've had, I've had friends that put stuff up and then I look and go, yeah, but you fuck up your life. You're asking us to help you pay your rent. But I know what you did with last month's rent money. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? So, so I think that when you... If you looked at it and seen, okay, this is a person in the industry, somebody I've worked with, somebody that, you know, wow, this is, then you would feel it in your heart to make a donation or to, to advertise that more or whatever. I think you well, gotta think follow sucks. what you feel. I think it sucks, you know, and I'm, you know, hoping that, you know, they pull through or, you know, whatever. But I wouldn't fund. fund. And, and I, I don't think you need to feel guilty about that. Yeah. Because if the table was turned, he would have the same choice whether to help you or not to. And I doubt he would. <laughs> right. So you know what? Yeah. And don't you shouldn't. And not feel because. Guilty. What are you going to feel guilty about? Me. Because he's in the industry, you feel like you should help. Well, it's it? just not somebody that's in the industry. It's somebody that I know. Right. Right. You know, like, and it's not that he wouldn't fund me because it was me. It's that I don't think he would fund anybody. Right. It's the kind of person he is. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like he's always looking to take something from somebody. Not give back. And have we confirmed that he is actually in the hospital? Oh, yeah. Now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kind of mm -hmm. bad news. Don't feel shallow. Don't feel bad. I don't think you should either. No. I'm just like, oh. I, it's kind of how I looked at it, too. I was like, oh, karma. He's a peach. <laughs> right. And it's not the kind that come with an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love your little Mexican <laughs> sounds. She's got all these little accents and shit. I know. All right, so catch up, Miss Tox. Why here, were you in Kingman? We went camping. Camping? You had a tent? No. No, we went camping with cabins. That's not camping. That's it staying in a hotel room. I did not stay in a hotel room. I did not have a personal bathroom in there. So you stayed Nor... in a rustic hotel room? No. It is one with beds that are like, it has a bed where it the wasn't mat camping. is like. When she said thin. I was going to go camping, I was like, oh, I was like. She's going sucks. to the Carlton. That's what it means. It is. Yeah. She's going to the Hojo. No, That's what she was. Is. I she seen went pictures. She to sure a cabin with, I'm sure, an outhouse or. An, did they have flushing toilets? They they have and it's showers. a KOA. We stayed at a KOA. So yes, that's, they did have flushing toilets and showers. So that's not camping. You've got to walk to it. I, it absolutely is. I stayed in a cabin. I did it all by myself. <laughs> she cooked took, all their food outside. I cooked on a charcoal grill, which I have never done in my entire life. That blows it, my mind that oh. you've never. I've cooked never. Right. I've that never was my last weekend. Yeah, I've never I never had on a charcoal you. all the time. I've been married over 15 years. <laughs> Even before then, I had maybe a year in which I, you know, date it. And before then, I was engaged. So I really haven't had to do that Way stuff. to be independent. If you want lessons. You still weren't camping. <laughs> I was as camping as I'm fucking going to get. It you was should camping, camp camping with to me. me. No, it was camping to me. I'm not letting anybody downplay my experience. <laughs> I, agree. I was very proud of myself. For 
cooking with charcoal. I'm proud of you. I, I am proud of you for that. For that. We did you cook? It. Uh, we made steak. It sucked. <laughs> If you want lessons on cooking steak, uh, contact my bio. Toxie, when we go awful. camping, I'll do the cooking, okay? That'll be great. Okay. Listen, it was wonderful. We I can packed, bake a cake in a campfire. We loaded everything ourselves. We packed the car. Normally, I would have Mr. You know, Mr. Toxie would help and get all the camping Detoxy. stuff. Right. But he took it all. So whatever we had, I had to go get. And then... You know, all the bedding, we remembered all that, and we went, and we had a blast, and I wasn't fucking scared, because I'm afraid of my own shadow, (laughs) and even when they, like, late last night, when these four, like, really sketchy-looking dudes come to the cabin next to us, and they, um, first they come and they check it out, then they go back out to their car, and then they drive away, and, like, 30 minutes later, they come back, and they unload, and they unload like one walks in with two sheets, another one walks in with two hands clutching a duffel bag, <laughs> and another one walks in with a cooler. That is literally all they took in there. So they Not brought nudie mags and beer. <laughs> right? Sure. It was, was a circle jerk. That's all, all, all that was, was happening next door. was like door. a little meth lab. That's all I was thinking. Like a Mobile deal was going lab. down. <laughs> They needed to be close to the entrance. You watch too much Breaking Bad, <laughs> I right? I do, but this is what goes through my mind. I mean, as they're loading, they're like looking around, and here's my child and I like sitting on the porch. Like, Maybe they're scared do-do-do-do. of their shadow. You know? So, and they were like gone by the time we got up in the morning. Like they were in and out. That was it. So, all of that. Maybe they had to check it out and be like, is there spiders in here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe they were scared to stay at the cabin. Maybe they're like, look at those scary ladies next door. They look like they could eat us. <laughs> cannibals. You could have been a cannibal. We went swimming. We played miniature golf. Swimming in a lake or a pool? No, no. it was at a KOA. This is where like families go to camp. I didn't <laughs> stay in the woods somewhere. This is as camping as it gets. Are you going to go sleep in a tent? Fuck no. I don't exactly. camp. Exactly. I don't camp. Man, and I was going to invite you all on a real quick camping trip. To me, I am proud of her for doing it herself. I want to go with her next time. I I want to bring the grandson and go for the weekend. I would really love to do that. It was a really big deal. I mean, I had to clean I'll rent you guys an RV. I'll be in my tent. I had to, like, (laughs) get pigeon shit off the tables (laughs) and clean the cabin out ourselves afterward and take our trash to the dumpster. Come, give me a break. Gosh. There was no maid service, right? Nothing. No turn down I'm, service. I'm Not even a mint into, on her I'm motherfucking being, pillow. I'm being into fucking pendant. Into fucking pendant? Well, into I'm proud of you pendant. for Who's finally pendant? making Who's Why are you fucking him? <laughs> <laughs> proud of you for okay. finally being independent. I'm not telling any of you guys shit anymore. <laughs> I'm on your side. Thank you. I'm right. proud of you. I am proud of you. I didn't Did say I, I mention proud of you. I've been married for over 15 years? Did you make s'mores? Yes, we made s'mores. Good. And we made the s'mores and ate them first for dinner. That's the way you do camping. That's the way you camp. Oh, I Dessert love first. burnt marshmallows. Did you burn and some we marshmallows? Burnt the marshmallows. Yes. Love them burnt. And Tiny then, little. And then later, my daughter said, outside, "Like I want more s'mores," and I wasn't doing it again. The whole grill thing. So I'm like, eat them as it is. She's like, okay. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys had a good time, though. That's awesome. I'll tell you the trick to fireless s'mores. You get the graham crackers. You get fluff. Foil. No, you the get marshmallow fluff, fluff. Marshmallow fluff oh, yeah. and Nutella. And then you just spread it on like a fucking peanut butter and marshmallow sandwich. Oh, hey, on oh, the way back, we stopped at the world's largest alpaca store. <laughs> In, In Boulder, Boulder City. <laughs> yes. I love that place. <laughs> and Touched the all the rugs. Yes, and the gentleman like told us stories and showed us pictures of the alpaca like before they're shaved and after and then he told us how the people who produce it i said is it you like do you have the alpaca farm and he's like i'm supposed to say yes but it's people in peru and they're like family he's like we've watched their kids grow up (laughs) so well that's fun alpacas don't spit at you so i'm cool llamas spit llamas spit i'm fuck that i don't fuck with llamas look at how much your iced tea is sweating i know i i fill my cup with ice i did too 
So next, that was my big thing. What? 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 Okay. okay, next. So my whole life consists of BBW Con. <laughs> Yay! And um, I little sport fucking here and there. Nothing good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I wish you could just find you good know dick. What? You know what's really crazy? You know, you know what? He, he, I don't know if the, you think about this, but like when some young guy or young kid, like oh. they have sex for the first time, like I go, you know, it was bad. You know, like how, cause unless they're like, like your whole philosophy of the nerds that read all the books. Okay. Oh, yeah. So Them's like good where these, these men that can't fuck worse shit learn how to have sex. They don't. That's why they fuck worse shit. I know it's horrible. They we are, need to do something about this. See, it's because women don't speak up during sex. You it's sp- because do you, do you speak do up you tell during them sex? Bad? Do you tell them that they're horrible? No. See? See? They don't know they're bad. You're right. I just move on. <laughs> I don't I don't I'm too You old. need to do I the next wanted... woman a service and tell him, "Listen, honey, here's a book. I need you to read it." Before you have sex with anyone else. Okay, for one, okay, there's two things. If I'm not that into you, I don't want to take the time to teach you. So I haven't really found anybody that I'm into Mm. at all. Two, I'm too fucking old to be teaching people how to have (laughs) sex. If you're older than me, because most of the guys that I date are older than me, I don't like younger guys, and I was hit on by a 19-year-old, which made me feel so skeevy <laughs> and creepy that I wanted to jump out of my skin. I was like, what the fuck? When did this start happening? Why are, why are young kids hitting on me? And when did I start deciding that they're young kids? Like, when did I become this old <laughs> This old <grandma>? lady? <laughs> like, when did I get old? When did this happen to me? I'm like, these kids these days. When did I become that person? <laughs> Get off my lawn! Yeah, I'm totally there. <laughs> I got home last night, and people were outside of my house, outside of the front, because the neighbors, you know, were having a big... And I just wanted to be like, get out from inside of my fucking house! <laughs> I'm such an asshole. I am that person. Honk, honk. Get when out of did, my way! When did I become that person? I think you've always been that person. I am just angry and bitter, like, mean. Yeah, I've probably always been this person. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I haven't found anybody that I liked well enough to even oh, he's making a rainbow cake. go to dinner with, let alone teach how to fuck. It's fucked up. Dating is fucked up. It is fucked up. And I just want my old relationship back. Do you really want that? It's time to move on. <laughs> That's right. It's time. Okay. I keep telling her that. I keep trying to encourage her to move on. And not live in the past, to walk towards the future, walk towards the light, Desiree. <laughs> right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Towards the light. Towards the light. Walk towards the light. So towards BBW the light. Cons on starts on Thursday. Yay! I'm so excited about are you, the, the hustler. Hustler Are you guys going to the Hustler Club Thursday night? I can't. <gasps> I want to. Come on! But I, my child leaves early the next morning. Yeah, and I have She's to work. She's not staying the night at Daddy's the night before. Think so. If if that happens, then I'll go. Okay, cool. Because it is going to be really fun. I'm yeah, so it excited. It is going to be fun. I'm, I'm uh, the girls are all the lined up to dance. They're all excited to strip, and um, the venue is really great, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> fun for Thursday night. That's the kickoff to BBW Con, and then Friday we will have the start of the uh, vendor floor, and then Friday night will be the hoedown, the hillbilly hoedown. Hillbilly hoedown. Saturday. There's all dukes, kinds of right? seminars and stuff going on on Saturday. And so busy this week. There's strip poker on Saturday. Uh, strip poker's on Friday. Friday. Okay, strip poker's on I Friday. Check the schedule. The schedule. Strip poker. And the Biggie Awards, Saturday night. Woo-woo. Yeah, that's going to be a big to-do. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. What are we wearing? We're going, right? Yeah. <laughs> we got to accept our award. <laughs> if we win. Oh, no, we're winning. Did you see we were up against like AVN Magazine and stuff? Yeah, but AVN doesn't really do a lot of BBW stuff. We're Sin so. City Bounty. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we have never lost that category. And we've been up against people like Stubo. That's true. That's true. How did that happen? 
<laughs> it won't ever happen again. <laughs> I, 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 I'll be honest with you. I did buy a new dress for the award. It came in the mail the other day, but I haven't tried it on yet, so I don't even know. If it's you should wear that black sure. one. No, I think I'm gonna wear that too. Um, well rounded. Oh, so? Did you guys? Uh, we'll be at well rounded. Well rounded well. doesn't on have Saturday a red night. carpet. It's, no, it's not no, a red no, carpet. No, no. It's yeah, uh, Saturday night. We usually wear our black and pink for the for the final. No, 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 not that. I was talking about the one that you bought from uh, I know which dress you're talking about. I was going to wear it that one night because it's the uh, show. No, it's the, uh, what's that theme? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> like flappers. Oh, like The 20s? Great Gatsby. The it great was The Great Gatsby. Gatsby. Oh, okay. yeah. Like, do, do. We are supposed to know what this is. Right. Do, do. How do you guys not understand me? <laughs> but I have a red dress I can wear. It, I it's have a, a red dress, too. I have a red dress I can wear. I'll be wearing a black dress. It's special because it was given to me by a friend, and every time I've worn it, at least one person has come up to me and said, hey, isn't that so-and-so's dress? Yes, it is. (laughs) And my ass fits in it. Literally. Right? Looks good. Pow. (laughs) I just have to find it. Boom, chicka, pow, pow. It's red. It has the halter top. Is yeah, that Friday okay. night is the great gift? Friday night's a great gift. No, I think Saturday. Yeah. So Saturday I was gonna night. wear, but I had a black dress that could, I thought it could look flappery ish. Yeah. And then I could tie the sash around. Yeah. For that, and then take it off. Yeah. But Did you guys, I forgot what I was gonna say. Flappery. I'm having a hot flash. I don't know if testing out the product. Too much drugs. Right. Those fans work really good. Yeah, that when you're done? Yeah, that's kind of cool looking. We'll share. Okay, so um, does it is it going to say anything on it? Like you putting a sticker on it? No. You want I, me to get a sharpie and write on it? Yeah. <laughs> right, BBWCon 2015 yeah. on all of them. Well, I thought about getting stickers, but now it's too late because I was gonna get a sticker and put it on here, but. I don't think I'll Even have time if you now. could find a small one on the handle, like right here. I could probably go and buy some, some adhesive mm-hmm. thingies. Yeah. Like even a mailing label, cut it in half. I a file folder label will fit that yeah, perfectly. Yeah, exactly. Really don't have time <laughs> to do right, that. Right, but whoever's sitting there selling them for you can stick it on as you go. Right. Oh, that's true. As they sell them. Oh, you purchase it? Shh, shh, shh. Here but it go. would go there would it would look good to have a label on here too cuz sure would but that fan would you interfere with the cool light show and shit like that no it no, could be a clear label a oh a clear label mm-hmm. oh, okay. oh yeah on this side's flat too so it probably could go there but and if you can do that then you have someone stick them on as they're being sold yeah as we're tidying off the loose ends here. Right. I have nothing else to do. I think, uh, I think, we're, was that your main catch up with BBWCon? I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, know. I already talked about going to Tyra's last night, and that was awesome. And yep, I'm done. Okay. Who, me? Yeah. We didn't do much. We had uh, Fourth of July at my mom and her husband's house. My mom made brats that were okay. I made, I I made beans had, that were good. Didn't you have big news you wanted to share? Something good? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I want to share. So I don't pregnant? mean to make you share. <laughs> no, you have to have working parts for that to work. <laughs> uh, no, so I had my cone biopsy done last week. Was it last week or the week before? The week it was before. L- well, whatever it was. You got the results. I got the results week. back last week. Uh, cancer-free, and Yay! they were able to get all the bad cells out. Unfortunately, though, they used a cauterizing tool to cauterize everything in there, and so now I'm leaking ashes out of my vagina. Yeah, I did that before when mm-hmm. I used it. Yeah. It's nasty, isn't it? And I uh, I have so many secretions coming out of there. It's like I have to wear pads because I can't wear tampons. I have to wear pads. And this is why I don't do vagina, folks. And uh, so, yeah, it's kind of gross. But I'm in, But you're good. But I'm good. Yeah. So I'm yeah, excited yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. That's awesome. And I had tots for my twat. Mm-hmm. Toxie brought me tots for my twat. That it's the first good. potatoes I've had in like four months. Yeah, I, her her sister was like, "You should be eating those." She was really mad at me. She was really mad. But I only yeah, had I had like less than uh, ten, I think. 
I'm like, but they're for her twat. I asked first. I said it was okay. It's my body. It's my diet. There you go. You got to control yourself. It's, it's okay if I have like 10 tater tots once every three months. Yeah, really. <laughs> You're not going to blow up. Yeah. So I go get all my blood work on Monday, and then I'll get the results from that the Monday after that. So make sure see where I am and what the diabetes. There we go. Diabetes. The sugar. I think for Halloween this year, I'm going to be Wilford Brimley. Oh, that would be awesome. And I'll be diabetes. <laughs> 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 we're going to make you look like an insulin molecule? Is that what we're going to do? Yeah. I'll just like dress in like a red uh, sack. A red sack. Full of sugar. Just and sack. Just the word sack sounds funny. And just have insulin written across it. <laughs> or have diabetes written across it. Diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> or I'll dress like a sugar cube and be diabetes. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There go. I'll be Wilford Brimley. I can Brimley. get a square foam thing. I'm going to need to get stuff my, because he's, he's one of those like spare tire pear shaped dudes. So yeah. I need to stuff my belly up real big to kind of make my tits go away and. I have to get some suspenders and big bushy pants and bushy eyebrows. Crazy. Yep. That's awesome. Darby. And I'm just going to run around with my testing kit and I'm going to offer to test everyone's blood. Do you want to be tested for diabetes? diabetes? Do you need diabetes testing supplies? And I'll jump in from the, <laughs> jump in from the back. Diabetes! And when, they say, when they say no, you'll jump out from behind and you'll be like... Diabetes! <laughs> <laughs> That'll be our act, folks. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. We're yeah. here every Sunday. <laughs> we are here. How every about Sunday. you? But I'm bummed. Um, okay. Bad news, good news. Um, I've been getting injections in my hips. I got them in my knees this week. Knees went well, but the hips are fucking up because they're not working. So it's not that they're not working; it's that we didn't have the correct spot. So they believe now that all the pain down my legs is coming from my spine. So I have to have an MRI. So I got hopefully someplace has an open MRI for my fat body, but I guess I'll figure it out. You've had MRIs done, right? Yeah, we were talking about this. Yeah, the MRI I had sucked ass. <laughs> it was in an open MRI, but they're wide this way, but not this way. <laughs> so your titties got smushed? So, yeah, pretty much. Like, I couldn't breathe while I was in there because it – was so constrained well i yeah. said i i was talking to Buckeye and i said so what happens if there's no mri for my body here in there La- is. las vegas there area is. they have a but broad board the ins- i was told though the insurance that i'm on the only place that takes it is steinberg steinberg has them okay i was told no but um, I have to, I called Steinberg Friday and they were closed for the holiday, so I have to call Monday. So hopefully Steinberg has an open MRI no, machine. Steinberg's the biggest diagnostic uh, right, company here, here in town. Office, they're going yeah. yeah, they're going to have an open sighted MRI. Well, they do, but my I, we have the same insurance, and Steinberg wasn't the one that they. I think Amerigroup is goes to Steinberg, and then our insurance goes to somewhere else, some desert desert radiology. Mm-hmm. I know they do. There's there's more than one open MRI in Vegas. Yeah. But it just depends on who your insurance allows. And I know that the one um, if you if the insurance accepts it, they or allows it, they have a what's called a broad bore MRI, which is a wider oh. MRI. Um, but well, all this means the is insurance that has to approve it because they are so cheap that they right. only approve certain well, things. Well, obviously, you know, if something's going on with my spine, which there is because there's pain there, so, you know, it's stemming from somewhere. Besides, I have arthritis all on my spine anyway. Um, and the open MRI sucks because it takes so much longer. and you got to lay really still, You have to lay you? super still. You can't move at all and barely breathe. And it takes forever. You're laying there for like 45 minutes to an oh, hour. Jesus. Well, that's what I have to go do. I fell asleep during my MRI. I could scared the crap well, out of see, me. See, I couldn't because if I lay like that, the pain in my hips is so bad. I couldn't move after I got done with I the MRI. It. Because I believe it. Because my spine had adjusted so fucked up to lay in flat like that. You can ask for cushioning. Yeah, but that increases the the height. So when you're in there, like when I was in there, like I was so smushed 
they had to take out all the padding from underneath me. I was just laying on the metal board. Wow. With a sheet. Well, I'm going to call tomorrow and see. Now I go tomorrow morning. If they're, it's so funny because I, I feel like I'm having plastic surgery. Oh, I had my hips done and my knees done. Now I'm going in tomorrow for my ankles, you know, but it's all <laughs> the injections for the arthritis. And you know what? I'll, I'll recommend injections to anybody. The, the knees have done great. The hips have done really great other than this one problem that we haven't seen to, you know, narrow down. But so I'll, I will, you know, tell anybody to have injections if they need to have them because oh, yeah. they work. So other than that, I'm just helping get ready for BBWCon. I can't remember. And then when I get to well-rounded the week after, I'm doing nothing. I'm going to sleep as long as I want. I'm going to maybe go to the pool. I'm going to do nothing but Are what I want to do. you going to be there the whole week? I will be there the so whole when week. So when I, when I want to come swimming at absolutely. night, I can just call yeah. you up? Uh-huh. Absolutely. I will be but there I'd all like week. To, I'd like to come hang out. We're checking in, I think, Monday. And okay. we'll be there all week till I, the following Monday. I have a friend who talked about maybe going in on a room for the weekend. Mm -hmm. So maybe. No, but we, yeah, anytime you want to use it, just holler. We'll be there. Okay. So, no biggie. Anybody else that wants to come to the pool, too, use the room. Depending on how big a room and how much it costs. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's see. Let's okay. See. okay. Yeah. All right. So well, we're two minutes into the shindig. we got two minutes left. Uh, next week, um, I'm going to call a possible rerun next week. Because of BBW hangover? Because con of hangover? BBW con hangover. I know that uh, our dearly divine Desiree yeah. will not be available no. on Sunday night. And I'm pretty sure these two will be super intoxicated. And I will be quite done with hauling gear everywhere. There, just so you know, and because you, you have a ticket, um, Sunday after BBWCon, um, Sunday night there is there was just a big announcement for a free, like an open bar for Well-Rounded, a special event that if you have a ticket for Well-Rounded, you can attend. But... Those who have a ticket can also invite a friend who doesn't. Oh, nice. So it is a... Uh, it's a invite either one of you who wants to come. Right? So... Toxie, probably. <laughs> I, I won't be available. No, I'll still be having parties, so... Is yours goes until when? I have the... What party is Sunday night? The VIP stuff. Oh, that's okay. right. Okay. The pool party ends at 8, but the VIP stuff goes until whenever it's over. Okay, so you'll still be there. Well, I might be at that pool party. Right, I was just got. I thought it was over on Sunday, so that's my it bad. Is, there's a pool party so from four to what eight, I said. <laughs> and then um, after that, there's the VIP party in the the room, the VIP suite, which will go till whenever. Okay, big weekends, big weeks coming up here in Vegas, everybody. Right, and then yeah. we'll be broadcasting from. BBW Con all day Saturday from the vendor floor and sat in the following Saturday night from the uh, well rounded Saturday day and night. Oh, are we doing both? Yes. Okay, Remember good. vendor day. Yeah, I wasn't sure if they got us in. Night. Okay, good. Yes. Good deal. Cool. All righty. All right. Well, you've this is oh. you've been listening to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City broadcasting to you live from Fat Topia Studios. This is Sierra. Sweet cheeks. Toxie. Desiree. Wishing you all a good night. And remember, fuck, fuck often. often.